Okay, babe, just call me a diffuser or something because we're going to clean some shit out of the air because there is so much crap. There's crap in business and I'm just not here for it. And that is that you can have the best mindset. You can have an awesome strategy. You can have banging content. You can have amazing systems. Everything can be working for you. Your offers can be fucking incredible. You can have the best testimonials, the sexiest website, the hottest photo shoot. Everyone could be telling you you're doing a great job, but you just need time on your hands. That's it. That's all you need is time. You know, Gary V always spoke about being patient and that sometimes we are just too early in the process. And I think that social media has led us to believe that we just need to finger bang ourselves into alignment and have an offer and some good messaging and we're going to be a millionaire. And you know what? Sometimes that happens for people. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes people just need time, okay? You know, everything could be working for you and everything could be really fucking good. But what is not on your side is luck. And what is not on your side is the time that needs to pass for your business to be a huge success, you know? Sometimes that happens fast for people. Sometimes it happens It happens slower, okay? I know that this may not be what you want to hear, but take comfort in knowing that how good does it feel if your stuff is really good and now it's just about being consistent and now it's just about continually showing up and doing the same thing and it's not burning everything down and starting again because it's like you never know when everything is just going to pop off, okay? For you right now, it's just about How can I just stay the course and how can I keep showing up even though I'm not getting the results that I want? How can I keep showing up and doing all the things even if the results aren't there, okay? You know, I think a lot of us assume that we just have to do one thing and it will unlock a million dollars or our next big business milestone and sometimes that can happen but sometimes it means, I mean, shit because you still have to work, like you still you still have to do the thing, right? I think that if there is one thing that, that, you know, the Instagram age of business advice has really fucked us in is I think it's the oversimplification of business. And I think that it's a real shady as shit marketing tactic where it's like, I have the one thing that's going to unlock this. No one fucking has the one thing. You know, if, if business was simple, everyone would be thriving. There is a statistic from Shopify um, and it's current one. It's from January 2024. And it's that business has a high failure rate. 48% of businesses will not make it past five years. They will not make it past. And that's not businesses selling, they're closing. So if you think that half of businesses are going to fail, if this was easy and if it was one thing, that would be 2%. Like it would not be anything. So the fact that you're here and that you haven't failed and you are still showing up and that you're still doing all the things, you are doing great. And sometimes one thing can make things a bit easier, but one thing is not just going to like, like, yeah, it's, it's like a switch that flicks and everything is fixed. We'd love that, right? I used to think about this with dating. I was like, tell me what's wrong with me and I'll just fix it and then I'll get a boyfriend. But, you know, it's not that simple because if it was that simple, then we would all have partners. If, if business was that simple, we would all have all this money. And, you know, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it so fun. You know, business takes time. And being a success in business means doing good work. It means being consistent. It means always selling. It means always getting in front of new people. Remember, we got to think about our traffic and selling shit that people want to buy means having great assets. And it's about doing that consistently and consistently and just trying new things and keep moving forward, but really doing that consistently. You know, uh, there is a company called Dent, Daniel Priestley, And I'm pretty sure he said something that they've taught this workshop like 130 times. You think about it, if he was, if if it was just one thing, he would just have to teach the workshop once and then everyone would sell the rest of the stuff for him. They would just be like, yeah, we've taught the workshop once. That's all that needed to happen. Now everyone else sells it for us. That's just not the case, right? He consistently does it. He consistently does this workshop. So yeah, the workshop could be a winner, but that is through probably continual repetition, I guess that's what repetition is, but, you know, repetition and and evolving and still doing the thing, okay? So you're going to be okay. And as a business veteran that has been doing this for a very long time, 15 fucking years, 15 years in business, oh, my gosh. Like, I've been doing this long enough that I've had a Pilates DVD, television commercials. I have some advice for you. Take a deep breath, breathe it in, breathe it out. It's going to take time. It will take time. 
when you are going for something incredible, when you are in pursuit of something awesome, that is going to take a little bit of time. It is going to be so good. However, there will be periods where it's balanced when shit is just not going well, because that is life. That is what happens when you are a human running a business, dealing with all human and life stuff with emotions. There is going to be good. There is going to be bad. You will do your best work and it will be met with silence. You will do something that will take you so long that you are really fucking proud of and people will look at it and be like, okay, and that will hurt and it will sting. But you'll also do work that you'll just think is a little throwaway job and someone will say, hey, that thing that you just did on a whim that they won't know is on a whim, they'll be like, that actually changed my fucking life reading that. You will have someone that will reference a little throwaway comment that you made years earlier and you will realize that everything just stacks on top of each other and you never have any idea of the simple sentences and interactions that you have with people and how that pays off so tremendously in your future. As you do this, As you show up, as you show up every day and you grow, guess what happens when you actually really grow? You raise your standards. Your standards will continue to raise and you get better. You become more resilient, more innovative, more creative. You move through things faster. You make better decisions. You make quicker decisions. You're okay if you make a fucking bad decision. You just bounce back so quickly, you know? You can look back at where you started. You can look back at where you na- where you are now. And it's like something that would knock you for a week. That just is like an hour. And guess what? You're going to get to a point where it's going to be like not even phasing you. You're going to be an unbothered queen. And that's what happens. And you won't realize the micro growth that happens when you are showing up and when you are an entrepreneur. Because when you are in it, it is really hard to see your growth because you are you are pressed up against it. But the growth is there and the growth happens. And one day you will stop and there will be something that will happen and you will think it's finally fucking happening. And you may look back and be like, yeah, there was a couple things I did, but you'll be like, you know, there wasn't this just like line in the sand when I just changed my messaging on my website and I made $10 million and it was all really simple. You'll look back and you'll be like, yeah, there were things that I did, but it was it was doing these things regularly and it was doing them all at once and it was staying consistent and it was managing my mind, you know? you've got this. I really believe that you are so incredible. I will leave you with this. One of the best things that you can do in business is to learn how to be neutral. We are neutral to the highs. We are neutral to the lows. And, you know, of course we want to celebrate, like when you've had a huge win, celebrate, but we also want to be neutral because we want it to be like, yeah, this is no big deal. Of course I made a hundred grand this month. No big deal. Of course it's me. Like, I'm not surprised by that. I'm not like, wow, I'm so shocked. I'm not shocked. Are you shocked? Like you're incredible. So be neutral to everything, you will have a better business. Know that it's not one thing, it's everything consistently. And it's doing good work, it's believing in yourself, it is being committed to the fucking process and it's loving every fucking minute of it. Because babe, if you aren't waking up believing that having a business is the best thing in the world, you are doing business wrong. If you're new to this podcast, keep listening. And if you are a, a devotee, devotee, how do I say that? Devotee. I can't, I don't even know. Uh, I've spoken too much this morning. But if you are devoted to this podcast, I love you. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I love this. I love us. Oh, I love everything. I love the fact, wait, do I have a clear afternoon or do I have a call? I don't even know what I'm doing today. Uh, I think we've got a business bank call this afternoon. Yeah, I've got a call. Okay, sweet. I've got a two hour break. So I love you more than my two hour break. And I love you more than the fact that I'm just going to go and take myself out to lunch because I deserve it. Why not? Uh, so I love you more than that. I love you more than this business that I've created for myself. Well, I can just go and have a lovely two hour leisurely long lunch. I love you more than my sexy gold microphone. We had a love-hate relationship for a while because I was like, you don't work. And it's like, actually, you work fine. I just needed to update my laptop, which was 10 years old. So I love you more than that. Have the best day. Go forth. Be awesome. Make your money. And have the best fucking week. Love you.